Game Ranks here to give you the top 10 gaming accessories under 50 bucks. We know some of you guys are ballers on budget, so we compiled this list for you. It's got a bit of stuff for PC gaming and console gaming. So if you're feeling crazy, all the items we talked about are listed in the description below. And we actually got more than 10 items on this list, so let's get rolling, starting off with number 10. If you're looking to up your PC or laptop game with some good speakers, go with the Cyber Acoustics 30 watt powered speakers. This is a three piece speaker system that comes with two solid left and right speakers and a decent sized subwoofer. You also got a little control hub that you can crank to adjust the volume and you can put it on your desktop. It only uses about 110 volts, but the sound is pretty darn good, especially for under 50 bucks. It'll probably be your best bet. At number nine, let's talk hard drives. Our first item, thankfully in this day and age, solid state drive being the best and newest technology, it's finally getting a little cheaper, so check out the SanDisk internal SSD. SanDisk offers this 120 gig SSD for just under 50 bucks. And now while 120 doesn't seem like a lot of memory, it's definitely the best memory you could buy. Have you used any solid state drives yet? You should. And then on the other side of things with physical disk drives, check out the Seagate Expansion 1TB portable external hard drive. If you look in the right place, you can find a 1TB version of this for under 50 bucks. And a lot of people use this one to upgrade their Xbox One hard drive. All you have to do is connect it to your Xbox One USB port, and boom, you have 1TB extra of storage. Thank us later. At number eight, yo, sometimes gaming laptops run really ridiculously hot, and some crazy bastards even like to play games on a gaming laptop on their actual lap. But hey, if you are one of those crazy people, we recommend the Havit HV F2056. This is an ultra portable, super quiet laptop cooler with a size range between 15 and a half inches and 17 inches. It's cool, it's quiet, it's ergonomic, it works via and adds two USB ports to your workflow. And Amazon offers deals on this thing and you can get it for like 27 bucks. And it's probably the best laptop cooler you can get for that price. And at number seven, let's talk controller accessories. The first thing we have is the Circle Pad Pro for the Nintendo 3DS. We always recommend this one because for 20 bucks, it's a no brainer. You really need to step your 3DS game up, especially if you're playing something like Monster Hunter. And then on the flip side, we can recommend the FPS Freak Vortex for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One controllers. These are those thumbstick bumps that you add onto your controller joysticks to give you a little better accuracy. And they're about 15 bucks. And you might look a little silly, but you might get a little bit more precision out of a controller. And at number six, we're gonna recommend something a little different, but it's pretty cool. Check out these console hide it mounts for PlayStation, Xbox, and Wii U. These sleekly designed little holders allow you to mount your console to a wall. You know, maybe if you don't have a big enough entertainment center or if you have kids and you want their console out of their reach, these are the slickest option to mounting a console to a wall and actually make it look pretty nice. And at number five, we always talk gaming mouse pads on this list, so let's get into it. Starting off with the Glorious XXL Extended Gaming Mouse Mat. This thing is called the Glorious XXL because it's really large. It's 36 by 18 inches. It can actually fit a keyboard and a mouse on it. It's got a smooth surface that's pretty good, and thankfully, it's really durable. It's almost like a giant placemat for all your PC gaming stuff. It even has room to keep your phone on it or other electronic things. We also can recommend Razer's version of that mat, the Razer Goliathus Extended Speed Soft Gaming Mouse Mat. Holy shit, say that three times fast. This is the same thing, you probably know the drill by now. It's really large and very long, made of high quality material, and it's got non-stick rubber on the back. We can also recommend a SteelSeries DEX gaming mouse pad because it's black and orange and it looks really nice. This is one I used to use and it was really cool because it felt high quality, and while the edges weren't stitched off or anything, it never frayed. So while it's not as big as the other two we recommended, it's high quality and it's a good price. And at number four, let's talk gaming keyboards. Now there are so many gaming keyboards out there for a variety of different prices, but the first one we could recommend is the Logic G105 gaming keyboard. This is a backlit keyboard with long life LED blue black lighting, and it's pretty sweet because you can adjust the brightness, thankfully. It has six programmable G keys, and like many keyboards, it's specifically designed for gaming. It's got a nice mechanical look to it, and a lot of gamers swear by it. Just look at the Amazon reviews. For the equivalent price, we can also recommend the Razer Deathstalker Essential Gaming Keyboard. Never to be outdone by SteelSeries, Razer has this keyboard that's pretty damn nice. It's LED backlit, but it's not mechanical. The keys do have anti-ghosting capabilities to prevent any accidental button presses. And this keyboard is so crazy that it actually has this whole cloud saving thing so you could save your keyboard settings to the cloud so your keyboard always remembers it. That's something I never thought I really want, but hey, for 50 bucks, this thing is pretty good. And at number three, let's talk game controllers. First, we can recommend the Mad Cat's Control I Mobile Gamepad. This one is made specifically for the Apple iPod, iPhone, and iPad, but they also make one for Android. This thing is Apple certified and works pretty great with the devices. I actually own one, and I can say that it's not so bad. It's a nicely designed controller that feels pretty familiar, and it's got a big control arm on top so you can mount your phone to it. It's got decent battery life, and it's ready to play most games like Skylanders, Trap Team, FIFA 15 Mobile. I actually use this to play a lot of Terraria because I was hardcore into the mobile version. And if you're looking for something a little cooler, we can recommend the 8-Bit Doe SNES 30 Wireless Bluetooth Controller. 
controller. This Bluetooth controller works for iOS, Android, and PC, Mac, and Linux. This is a Bluetooth USB gamepad that was apparently professionally designed to give that Super Nintendo feel. And I mean, look at the thing. It's pretty damn convincing. It looks a lot like a Super Nintendo controller. So, you know, if you're into that controller, you know what you're getting. But now you can play Android, iPhone, and computer games on it. And at 35 bucks for a custom designed Super Nintendo controller, that's a steal. On the Android specific side of mobile game controlling, we can recommend the Power A Moga Pro controller. This is again a nicely designed controller that you can mount your phone to and play your games on. It's pretty damn slick with a nice black design and the adjustable stand can fit most Android devices. And at number two, now we can finally talk gaming headsets. For something under 50 bucks, some of your options are a bit limited, but we can recommend the Senti Harmonic Pro Real 5.1 USB DAC GS4841 PC gaming headset. For being just 50 bucks, these headphones are pretty nicely designed, come with comfortable earbuds and a microphone, and apparently have real 5.1 channel surround sound. And while you're mostly probably gonna be using it on your PC, they definitely seem like reliable headphones and provide decent sound quality. We can also recommend the Logitech G230. This is another comparable priced headphone set that also comes in black and red. These headphones only give you stereo quality sound, but look a lot nicer and more comfortable. It's got a folding, noise canceling mic, and adjustable controls on the cable of the headset, allowing you to change the volume and mute. It's specifically designed as an option for gamers on a budget, and apparently they're very slim and lightweight, so they might be worth checking out. And at number one, you knew this was coming, let's talk about a gaming mouse. First, we can recommend the SteelSeries Rival Optical Gaming Mouse. This is a very nice, no frills gaming mouse that you can get for about 50 bucks. It's got a pretty unassuming SteelSeries look with a little bit of LED lights that make it look a little fancy. And there are six different programmable buttons on it that don't get in your way. The Razer equivalent is the Razer Death Adder Infrared Gaming Mouse. This one's also pretty unassuming, especially for a Razer product, but I used this one for a while and I liked it because it was pretty damn ergonomic. It also comes with a lengthy seven foot braided fiber cable. And for at just about 50 bucks, we can also recommend the Logitech G402 Hyperion Fury. This is a first person shooter designed gaming mouse that is apparently touted as the world's fastest gaming mouse. It's got eight different programmable buttons that again, stay out of your way and four different on the fly DPI settings that you can adjust to your heart's content. The Logitech G402 is probably the slickest and coolest design mouse that we have on our list. And if you look around, you can find it for just about 50 bucks and we highly recommend it. So guys, those were a bunch of gaming accessories under 50 bucks. We hope you found something cool. If you did, or if you have something on this list that you do use, let us know. If you use other cool products that are under 50 bucks, definitely let us all know in the comments below. And if you did learn a thing or two, maybe click the like button on this video because that helps us out. We helped you out, so hey, hook us up. And if you are new, subscribing is the best thing you can do because we put out videos like this every single day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.